Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here with a bare face because I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine. I've been meaning to do this for a while, so now's the time. I feel like I've been basically using the same makeup for like, basically since I got married. I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but for um, our honeymoon, I basically packed a little makeup bag. Um, it was actually this specific one, and I just kind of liked that everything I needed was just in one little bag. And I kind of just kept using the makeup from that bag even after we got back from our honeymoon. And we've now been married for nine months and I still keep using only the makeup that's in that bag, even though I have a whole room with a big dresser full of makeup. But yeah, since this has been my go-to, it's like very easy, very fast, um, pretty basic, I guess. Um, I just thought I would share with you guys. So I will say that um, my foundation is a little dark for me because I've lost my tan. This is like my lightest foundation and it's still a little bit off, but once I'm done, I don't think you can really tell. Or at least I hope not. All right, so I'm gonna be using my little light up mirror. I'm not gonna use the light because I have a ton of daylight right now. But normally I would be doing this um, in my office, like on my vanity, but there I like face a wall basically, so it'd be hard to film it. And here I just figured the lighting would be better. So the first thing I do is actually use a primer and this like eye cream, I guess. So I'll do this under my eyes and then the primer on the rest of my face. This is the eye cream from MAC. And then I've been using this Dr. Brandt primer, the luminizer primer for a long time now. Aww. Oliver's joining us. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna put this under my eyes, and I do this because although my skin is oily, I do have pretty uh, dry under eyes. This feels so weird because I haven't done a makeup video in so long. I am definitely not a professional, but I enjoy makeup, so this is fun. All right, and then I'm just gonna spread this on the rest of my face, especially like here where I have like larger pores and on my nose. I feel like this part always makes me pretty red. I think I just have very sensitive skin. All right, so next up I'm gonna go in with the NYX Dark Circle Corrector. I love to use this because I feel like my dark circles are pretty bad. I'm just gonna use a brush like this and paint that on. So I kind of drag it up here because I feel like I have a lot of darkness in there as well. Now I'm just going to use this little fluffy brush to blend that out. And I honestly feel like this makes a big difference. I feel like when I just use concealer and don't put this underneath, like I can still see a lot of darkness. So if you have bad dark circles, then I would recommend trying it out. At least for me, I feel like makes a big difference. I guess just make sure you get the right shade for your skin tone. I forgot to mention, but mine is in fair. Basically, the darker your skin tone, the more orangey it's gonna be. All right, so for my foundation, I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal True Match. This has been my go-to for so long. I use it in the color Nude Beige. I was actually using a Clinique one for quite a while and I was really liking it, but the one that I have is more for like my very tan <laughs> shade. So this one is like closer to what I am right now, even though it's not perfect. So I've just been putting it straight on the brush and this is the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush. Just kind of do that <laughs> and then blend. And you guys can probably see right now what I mean about the color not matching. Also with this hair, I have to be really careful because it does not look good when I get foundation on it. I mean, no hair does, but I just feel like it's more noticeable for some reason. I'm gonna bring that down to my neck. It's kind of annoying that I'm breaking out right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I don't really break out often because I do use like an acne treatment. But of course, the day I'm gonna fill my makeup <laughs> is the day I'm breaking out. But it's good because I can show you guys how I usually cover pimples. Now for concealer, my trusty Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. There's so many names on this thing. And there it is. They actually changed the packaging. When I went to look for a new one, I was confused, but it seems to be the same formula. Just make, you know, a little upside down triangle, the usual. I feel like I go a little heavy on the concealer. But like I said, it's just because I have really bad dark circles. Honestly, if it wasn't for my dark circles, I probably wouldn't really wear makeup that often. And then just go down my nose and put some right there. I'll put some on my cupid's bow. And I also like to put a little on the sides of my mouth. So I just feel like there's a little bit of 
darkness there. Now that I look super scary, <laughs> let's blend that in with the Beauty Blender. I don't really know why I've never gotten into like using the Beauty Blender for foundation. Like I've tried it and I just always go back to a brush, but I do prefer it for blending out concealer. All right, now to set my under eyes, I am gonna be using this loose powder from A Revolution. It's their luxury baking powder. The writing has basically come off, but yeah. I just put a little bit in the cap and use it on the Beauty Blender again. Just set that again, go a little heavy with the powder. Everything under my eyes is a little heavy, which isn't great because of the dryness, but it's the only way that I can mask my dark circles. <laughs> By the way, I didn't say, but this is a banana powder. All right, so before I set the rest of my face, I'm just gonna go ahead and cover this. For any blemishes, I like to use the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. Mine is in the shade NC30, and it is pretty thick, so I don't need much, and I just take a tiny little brush and just tap it. All right, now to set my face, I'm gonna use my favorite Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Um, I used to use the one that was in the shade Silky Beige, which was perfect for me, but I can't find that anywhere. It's been like a year that I just don't find it. I don't know if they don't make it anymore. So I've just been using the transparent one. I'm gonna take a little flat brush. This is from e.l.f. It's their powder brush. And I am just gonna pat it. I especially like to set like my cheeks, my nose, basically my T-zone. Um, I try not to do it too much around the edges because I feel like I'm a little drier there as well. And then pat it over that concealer and the little blemish should kind of disappear, at least I hope it did. All right, next up I do my eyebrows. I feel like my steps are a bit weird because I fill in my eyebrows, but then I do bronzer and then I use a brow gel. I don't know why really, it's just how I do it. So the eyebrow pencil I like to use is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and I use it in the shade black. So I'm just gonna brush out my eyebrows. I actually need to get them professionally done. I've just been kind of plucking it myself like anytime. I see anything that's too obvious, but it definitely needs like to be done professionally. So I try not to go too crazy with this. I just like, I don't know, just try to make it a little more sharp, I guess. And if you guys can see like the tails of my eyebrows are a little lighter, so that's where I like to fill it in a bit. I kind of just start here at the bottom, make it straight. Yeah, basically just outline it and then just fill it in. As for the front here, I'll usually fill in this bottom part, but right at the front, I'll just like create almost like little hairs and just kind of let it like, I don't know, have like a little feathered look. All right, now that they're filled in, I am gonna go ahead and brush it to soften this front part. I do run it through the whole thing, but I try not to be too harsh here, but here I really like to smooth it out. And then I always get a little smudge, so <laughs> just clean that with my fingers. And I usually just take the beauty blender to Clean any little smudges. All right, so as I said, I should go in with the eyebrow gel now, but I guess I feel like when I'm bronzing, I might like mess up my eyebrows. So I'm gonna bronze first. I'm gonna be using the Benefit Hula Bronzer and this complexion brush from Elle. And yeah, I don't really contour anymore. So I kind of try to do both with this. Like I'll just like kind of bronze everything, but try to make it a little darker right here. like under my cheekbones. But yeah, I'm pretty sloppy with this, honestly. Like, I don't do anything, like nothing like very chiseled, I guess. I just wanna bronze up my whole face. All right, once I've done the sides of my face, I go under my jaw, bring it down to my neck a little bit, then do around my forehead. Again, this is a little weird with my hair because we don't want to make the hair look orange, so I have to be careful. And then lastly, I just like kind of go a bit on my nose and a little bit on my cheeks and chin because like I said, I just want to bronze everything up. And I feel like if I don't bronze my nose, it just looks weird. I feel like I'm still looking very pale on the camera. I feel like I look a little more bronzed in person. Just darken the camera a little bit. I don't know if that's better. I think it is. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with an eyebrow gel and this is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara and this is in the color black. Although I feel like it doesn't look black. It looks like brown. 
I don't know. I just brush it through and then I press down on the ends because I feel like, I don't know, those hairs tend to really move so I really want to make sure that they stay down. I used to love the L'Oreal, like, I forgot what it's called, like, but their brow gel. I was obsessed and I can't find it anymore. I feel like they no longer make it, which is very sad. All right, so now I'm gonna do my blush. And before, um, I was always using this blush from Cargo. It's just like a cute, like pinky kind of peachy shade. Hey, keep it down there. The color is the Big Easy, but I find it a little too pink for me. Actually, maybe now that my pink hair is back, it would look fine, but I don't know. I just feel like peachier shades look better on me, so. Now that I'm not traveling a lot, I can actually grab this palette because it has my favorite shade from NARS, which is Luster. I actually need to get the individual one because I only have it in this Steven Klein palette and it's that shade right there. So I'm gonna use my pointed blush brush from Moda Pro. I think this was from like a BoxyCharm a long time ago, but I do like it for blush. This is just my favorite blush ever. I feel like there's a little bit of pink, a little bit of peach, and there's also a slight shimmer to it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I love it. I just think it gives such a nice, like healthy glow. I also put a little bit like on the bridge of my nose. I feel like it gives a nice little like sun-kissed look. I love this blush so much. All right, so before I highlight, I'm actually gonna do my eyes. I told you guys, the order that I do my makeup in is so weird. I don't know why I do it like this. So what I've been using for my eyes is actually this tiny little palette. This is the Urban Decay Naked Petite heat and i love this palette because it's super warm so it's right up my alley and i just feel like it has everything i need for like just my basic everyday makeup i do also like like pinky shades like mauvey almost reddish um like the anastasia modern renaissance is that what it's called I haven't used it in a while but i love that palette so colors like that i love but I just like that this is like so tiny and it just fits in my little makeup bag. So a lot of the times I actually do my makeup in the car when I'm going somewhere because to be completely honest, I don't enjoy doing my makeup really. Like sometimes I do, but for the most part, it's kind of like a chore. I'm like, Ugh, I need to do my makeup. So I never really feel like doing it when I'm gonna go out. So what I'll do is I'll just get dressed and then in the car, obviously it depends on how far the place I'm going is, but I'll just bring like this little bag and then just do my makeup quickly in the car. So having little products like this that are like compact is very helpful. Anyway, what I've been using is this shade. What is it called? It's called Vibrate. I don't think I've actually ever read the names of these shades, but it's this little taupey shade right here. And I just put that like all over my crease, kind of on my lid as well. The lighting just got really dark. <laughs> this day is all crazy. Oh, the sun's coming back. Oh geez, now it's really bright. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. It's actually kind of hard to film this with natural lighting, but anyway, um, so I've put that shade all over here. I don't even know if you guys can tell. It's pretty light, but I do feel like it makes a difference. And yeah, I try to bring it pretty high, but obviously still leave like a little gap there between the eyeshadow and my eyebrow. By the way, I'm using the Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. And now I'm gonna switch to their flat brush. It's the E54. And I'm gonna get that same color and just like, just spread it on my lid. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. It really depends, I guess, on how much time I have. So something I also don't always do, but I do like to do it pretty often, is to kind of deepen the crease a bit. Um, and I go in with the color Hot Spell. It's this shade right here, which is kind of similar, but obviously you can see it's a bit darker. So for this, I'm gonna use the E25 brush from Sigma and then just put it right in the crease, especially like focusing here on the like outer corner and then just kind of blend that out. So if I have the time, I do try to do this cause I feel like it just like I don't know, it just makes it look a little nicer. I feel like just the taupey shade is more of like a no makeup makeup look, whereas this one just looks like you tried at least a little bit, you know? So I guess it depends on the look you're going for. I'm just gonna take a clean fluffy brush to kind of blend out any harsh edges. I'm actually gonna grab a little bit more of the Vibrate shade to blend that out. All right, so for under my eyes, I'm gonna use this little like, kind of like a little pencil brush. This is from Beauty Professional. It's their Dome Smudger. And I'm gonna go in with that darker shade, a uh, Hot Spell, and then just run it along 
like the near the lower lash line. I always feel like my makeup looks so weird if I don't put eyeshadow underneath. I know some people don't like it, but I feel like I have to have it or else, I don't know, it just looks strange. Now I'm going to use this little flat brush. Go in with the lightest shade. It's called Inhale. Just like a very light, like creamy shade. And I'm just going to use that to highlight my brow bone. So something I also like to do is to get that same shade and kind of just use it here on like the inner part of the lid and a little bit here on my inner corners. So I'll highlight my inner corners once I highlight everything. But before that, I actually like to get my beauty blender and kind of just like blend out this edge right here. Sometimes I feel like it could be pretty sharp and I don't want that. Next up is highlight. Um, the one I've been using is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade Be My Highlight. I love this. It's so affordable, but so good. So I'm going to use my Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. Just get quite a bit of product. Obviously, tap that excess. And yeah, just highlight my cheekbones. Hopefully you guys can see that, but I think it's such a beautiful highlight. I feel like it kind of gives you that like glow from within kind of look almost like a wet highlight instead of like glittery because I hate anything like super shimmery. Yeah, I just love it. So I just run that along here and then I actually do a little bit on my cheeks. And I also like to highlight my nose. I don't know why I still use the same brush. I just kind of like flatten it and then I just run it down the bridge of my nose and then do a little, a little boop here. <laughs> just do like a little dot right there. And then also Cupid's bow. So I'm going to grab this little pencil brush. I actually have no idea where this is from. Oh, it's from Morphe. Doesn't say the name of it though, but it's just a little pencil brush. And I'm going to use that same highlight to highlight my inner corners. And I also drag that onto the lid a little bit. Since all I have on my lids are like matte eyeshadows, I think it's nice to bring in a little, you know, shimmer, I guess, after I just said I don't like shimmer. But you guys know what I mean. I don't like glitter but I like a glow. Well, I say I don't like glitter. I don't like that for like an everyday look. It could be very fun. So I feel like using this highlight as an inner corner highlight is nothing like too crazy, but I think for an everyday look, it just works. And sometimes I'll actually bring that a little bit on the brow bone as well. Since like I said, everything else is matte. So there's that. So now I'm actually just gonna set my face before doing mascara and lips. That's just how I do it. I don't like wetting my mascara or my lipstick, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And then just get that to dry. I should probably get myself one of like those little fans that people use. That'll probably be a lot quicker. All right, so up next is mascara and I'm gonna be using my favorite. It's the Lancome Monsieur Big. Guys, this mascara is amazing. I've been using it ever since it was gifted to me. Like, I wanna say like, two maybe three years ago i think it was two years ago um and i just became obsessed my favorite drugstore one is still the falsies but i just love this one too much so yeah oh i guess i should say that i don't actually use eyelash curlers anymore it started because i just lost mine and i took forever to repurchase and i do have one now but i don't know i just feel like when i use eyelash curlers too much like it breaks off my eyelashes after a while. Like I just feel like they start looking kind of short and I don't know, maybe I just have bad ones, but I just haven't been using it. I don't really feel the need for it. I'll show you guys what I do after I put mascara to try to get them to like curl and stay up, but I just don't find the need. I think I said this in a previous makeup video, but mascara is like, I have such a love-hate relationship with it because I love the results. Like mascara is my like, favorite thing but I hate applying it so much. I just think it's so annoying. Probably because I put on like three coats. So the thing I like about this mascara is that even if I'm like in a hurry and I'm only able to put one coat of it, I feel like it already makes a pretty big difference. And I feel like it just kind of gives me a little bit of everything. It gives me length, it gives me volume, it gives me a curl. So I don't know if you guys can already see, but that's just one coat. Also, I am gonna put it on my lower lashes. All right, so that's one coat on the top and bottom. You guys can already see the difference. Like it's nothing too crazy, but like I said, if you're like in a rush and you just need to put something on quick, I feel like this makes enough of a difference, but since I have time, 
I am going to go in with a second coat and possibly a third. All right, now that I have two coats on both eyes, um, sometimes I like to go in a third time just like on the ends because I feel like it gives it a little more length. So just very lightly because I don't want it to get like super clumpy. All right, so this is a pretty wet mascara, so I wait a little bit before I even like clean anything. So what I'm gonna actually do is um, use an eyeliner on my waterline. I'm gonna use the Essence Smoky 2-in-1 Coal Liner. It's in the shade Smoky Black. And honestly, this is a very like chunky eyeliner, so it's a little hard to use like without kind of getting it everywhere. Well, I guess for the bottom it's fine, but I'm gonna be putting it on the top. It's a little hard, but I find that it's just like really pigmented and very soft, so. I like it because of that. So, like I said, I'm going to be putting it on the upper waterline. Is that what it's called? Eh, you guys know what I mean. And I don't bring it in all the way. I basically just do it wherever I have lashes, I guess, because we don't want that, like, skin color, I guess, showing through, like, beneath the lashes. All right, so here's what I do with my lashes. And yes, I know I have mascara kind of everywhere. It's a very wet mascara, and honestly, I think I always do that. But what I actually do to kind of like curl my lashes a bit is I actually kind of just bend them with like my fingers, just kind of do this. I wait until it's pretty dry and then I'll just like hold it, kind of curling it up. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing, but basically just keep doing this. I don't know how this started. I guess it happened when I didn't have my eyelash curler and I was like, oh gosh, I need it to curl. So I started doing this and I just really liked it. I feel like it works better. And yeah, I just, I never saw this anywhere. I don't know if this is weird, but it's just what I do now. So I hold it in place for a few seconds, kind of like, I don't know, pressing it in a little bit. You can kind of go wherever you feel like it needs more of a curl. But yeah, can you guys see that? Let me like clean it up and then I'll do a little close up for you guys. To clean mascara off of like my lid, I always just use a little like spoolie. I like this one from the it cosmetics like brow pencil because it's like very soft so it's not like scratchy and i just brush it along any dots and just like that it disappears all right can you guys see that do you see how there's still a curl even though i didn't use an eyelash curler like i don't know i think it works pretty well so there's a little trick if you don't like using an eyelash curler or you don't have one and yeah i just i don't know i feel like my curl just looks better and just lasts a lot longer like this. I guess I should say that that can get a little messy. It's like on my fingers, but you can just clean that off. So last, but definitely not least, because I feel like lipstick completes the look. Um, I'm going to be using this on my lips, which is from Pixie. And I think it's a collaboration. Well, actually, I know it's a collaboration. They sent this to me and I guess they collaborated with like a bunch of like influencers, I think. This one is with Miriam. I don't know who that is. But basically, um, this is their Posh Nude Liquid Lipstick, and I am obsessed with this color. I have been using it nonstop since I got it a couple months ago, and yeah, this is like my perfect nude. I actually looked it up, and I think you can only get it in a set, which is a little annoying because I would love to get just this lipstick, but yeah, I love it. Isn't this color gorgeous? I just think it's the perfect nude, like... It's not too dark, it's not too light, it's not too pink, it's not too peachy, not too brown. I don't know, at least for me, I feel like it works so well. So yeah, I guess that is it. This is my everyday makeup. Um, obviously, I don't do my makeup every day, but when I do, this is usually what I do. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, bye!